Spirit, welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so you've been doing a lot of introspection, doing a lot of thinking, spending a lot of time by yourself. Uh, you might be a bit emotional about what is going on, uh, but you are doing some very, very deep soul searching at this moment. Uh, you might be feeling like, you know, whatever your situation you are, there is some compromise that will be needed. You might need to give up something in order for you to make a, a relationship work. It looks like there's a first date coming in over there for you, so you may have met somebody or you're interested in somebody and you're thinking about uh, maybe asking them out or you're, being, or you're, think, you're hoping that you get asked out, really, uh, on your first date. Now, in the past, you've gone through a period of heartbreak, and maybe this is the reason why you've been doing such deep thinking and, and you know, some deep soul-searching. Whatever it was, it was a karmic ending uh, that happened, and it maybe you needed to learn uh, soul lessons, and maybe this is the reason why it happened. Maybe there were events that were beyond your control uh, that led to the breakup of this relationship. Now, going into the future, you've got the flirting card. So there is, uh, is obviously somebody that you are very, very interested in and maybe a lot of flirting going on, but this may not be the person for you. This may not be the person that ticks all the boxes or it may not be the person that you are ultimately looking for. So just be aware that that could be the case. So those are the energies for that, uh, those two weeks. So I'm going to just draw some cards from the after tarot. So the bottom of the deck, you've got the Nine of Cups over here. And, uh, you know, this is generally a wish fulfillment in this particular, uh, in the general tarot reading. But in this particular deck, it's talking about, you know, being, uh, maybe you were involved with somebody uh, that was very, very uh, greedy. Um, so they wanted everything. They wanted you to give them everything. Maybe you were the person that did most of the work within that particular relationship. You can see this man's presenting this man with a tray there. Uh, and it seems like they, they were always taking and you were uh, the giver. Uh, so even though it seemed to be a relationship that, uh, you know, you considered to be a wish fulfillment, something that you really wanted, it seems like uh, the other party was the taker and you seem to have been the giver within that particular relationship. And maybe for this reason, uh, you know, that relationship came to an end. You've got the Ten of Coins over here or the Ten of Pentacles. And this is, although that relationship was pretty good, it seemed to be stable, you seemed to have a lot of security, it seems like maybe you turned away, uh, you had to turn and walk away from it, and that seemed to have come to an end. And now you are being, you know, you're on your own, you're pretty independent at the moment, uh, you're working on yourself, working on your own security, uh, trying to accumulate and amass, uh, you know, your own fortune, really, uh, and, you know, you're taking care of things. Uh, you're very hands-on on what you're doing. You can see the gloves are off there. Uh, and, you know, you are um, working on your own uh, maybe spiritual growth or even your own material growth as well. So you are trying to establish yourself uh, because this particular relationship, you know, this particular person seemed to have taken everything from you. It seems to have been very greedy for, for you to do everything for them. And, um, you know, they were not the givers, they were the takers. You can see there was that ending over there. You've got the Ten of Swords. So this was a separation that happened. Um, you know, the card below it is the Heartbreak card. So uh, it looks like, you know, uh, there was a lot of heartbreak uh, that went on over there. Uh, you know, you, you've um, it might have even involved a third-party situation. It looks like whatever happened, uh, you know, it completely devastated you. There may have been a legal breakup in this particular scenario. Um, you know, there might have been a divorce, but it seems like this particular person was very, very selfish and uh, th that they didn't want to put in any effort into the relationship and they wanted 
uh, you to do everything for them. And it seems like, you know, you've had to walk away from it. There may have even been, um, you know, if this was a legal breakup, there is, seems to have been some kind of payoff as well that came in uh, with it. So there may have been a settlement that came in. So right now, maybe you're using that particular money from the settlement and you're gone off by yourself and you're living quite independently at the moment. You've had to start afresh, it seems. Now, maybe the person that you were dealing with was a uh, fire sign person because you've got the King of Wands over here. So this is uh, a person who, and the King of Wands is somebody who really doesn't care about other people's emotional needs. So this could have been an uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy that is coming through. If it isn't, then this person was displaying that kind of energy where they were very selfish. They worried about their own gains rather than worrying about whether or not you were satisfied in this particular relationship. It seems like, you know, you've gone through a lot of difficulties with this uh, Six of Wands, but uh, you are now coming out of it. So, you know, you are being uh, victorious in it. You are managing to get your head above water. Uh, maybe whatever this legal settlement was or whatever the um, court case or legal events you went through, you did win in that particular situation. And you are getting a lot of recognition for it. People are admiring you uh, for having come through quite a difficult situation. At the moment, you are trying to focus on your uh, coin, so focusing on your money, focusing on your work, uh, focusing on your independence. That is what is on your mind right now. Now, going to the future, you've got the temperance card over here. So you are trying to bring balance back into your life again. You are getting rid of all those negative emotions. Uh, you know, you are reasserting what your goals are. You are going back to believing in yourself again. And, you know, you are, you are getting back that vision that you used to have about what your future should be. Um, you know, you are also, um, you know, rising above the situation. So you are healing from it. You can see this dove going out of this cup over there. And maybe you have got a more spiritual connection that is coming in. There's certainly more enlightenment coming in. And you've got that third eye chakra being activated over there. So you are seeing things from a very, very different perspective. And you are seeing it from a very psychic perspective as well. You might be doing a lot of praying as well. Now you are sorting through these problems. You've got the strength card and this is your energy and it's talking about getting a grip of things, getting a handle of things and managing to conquer all your fears, conquer all these problems that you have been facing. Now what's coming in for you is the Wheel of Fortune there. So things are about to change. Uh, this is about uh, a turn of events, uh, you know, things moving in a much more positive direction. So if you've been on a down phase, it looks like, you know, things are about to ch pick up for you. Now what's significant in this particular deck is that all these um, um, little, uh, you know, the, uh, these are emblems for the uh, fixed signs. Um, so they all are carrying little books uh, in their hands. So there might be some research that you need to do, some further study that you might be thinking of doing. Uh, you know, maybe furthering, uh, improving your, your skill set, maybe even going back to school, um, but taking up study again in order for you to change your luck or change your fortune. Now, you are still feeling trapped within that situation, but it looks like, you know, you are finally getting your freedom. Maybe you're hoping that somebody comes in and takes you out of all these, this mental anxiety and turmoil that you're going through. You're hoping to be rescued from it. So you've got this woman having this man cut her out of it. So you're hoping that a new relationship may be coming in uh, to try and get you out of this particular situation that you are. Now, going into the future and the final outcome, you've got the Seven of Swords over here, the Moon card and the Devil. Um, so, looking at the Seven of Swords card, it's almost looking directly at the Devil card over here. So, this particular person uh, that you were dealing with was very, very manipulative. Um, they seem to have been very controlling, and they seem to have done something that they got away with, or they think that they've gotten away with it. But it, you've got this little noose at the bottom over there, <coughs> which is showing that whatever they uh, appear to have gotten away with, whatever injustice was committed in this particular situation, they're going to get caught. So, uh, you know, even though it seems as though, uh, you know, they um, uh, won in this particular situation or they got away with, uh, with you know, um, their injustice or their uh, nasty behavior, um, it looks like they're going to be the one that gets caught out in the end. So, you know, their karma or their fate is coming to them. So just be aware, uh, you know, and uh, know that, uh, you know, what goes around comes around. So whatever they've done to you, uh, they did not get away with it. They will get caught uh, with it. So this was the card, the Seven of Swords. It's a card of a lies and deceit, deception, trying to pull the, the wool over everybody's eyes. But it looks like, you know, it's about 
they're about to get their own justice. Now, you've got the moon card over here, so you are still feeling very lonely, very isolated, very confused. You can see this woman standing there by herself. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, maybe also very fearful about moving forward. So this is an energy that you actually need to let go of. Uh, you know, it's also an energy about don't make big decisions. Try to, to lighten your mood. Try to get more sleep because this is a card of anxiety as well. It seems like you are faced within a, uh, with a decision over here. Uh, so, you know, you need to think very clearly before you actually make decisions. Don't ra rush into things and make rash decisions. You've still got this devil energy around to you so this particular person might still be trying to manipulate you maybe even at, from a distance um, you know and you know don't allow yourself to be drawn back into that particular energy field again it's a very toxic energy you can see this the, this couple are at it there uh, so you know if this uh, person tries to um, you know get you back uh, and uses, uh, you know, sex as a means of getting you back um, is not going to be something that is good and you'll end up being in that same toxic situation again. So be aware that they're still uh, manipulative. They haven't changed. Uh, you know, they might end up you know, deceiving you all over again. Uh, so it is important to realize that, uh, you know, this is an energy that you need to leave. You need to cut it out from your life and move away from it. So... <clears throat> You are coming through a difficult situation and getting back on your feet again. Uh, you might need to pursue something different uh, in order for you to, uh, you know, overcome this particular situation. You are sorting things through and you will be able to arise about the situation. And you will be able to heal from the situation. You've got that temperance card coming over there showing a lot of healing. Uh, but you do need to connect with your higher self or your spiritual self uh, to gain insight and how to do this and how to get... Um, you know, buy. So the first card is perspective, and this is generally the hangman card, and says there is a better way. Pause for reflection, insight, and dare to be different. So, you know, you do need to look at things from a very different perspective. If things are a bit of a standstill, it's important because this is the time of healing. Uh, you've got the temperance card and the hangman over there. So this is talking about, uh, you know, taking it slowly, taking it easy and heal from the situation. Uh, look at things from a very different perspective and know that, you know, um, new insights and fresh insights will come. You've got the Ace of Raphael and this is a healing card. So positive new emotional experience. It says fulfilling romantic relationships, deep and lasting spiritual insights. So the Ace of Raphael is healing from the situation. With this new perspective, with the hangman, comes this healing for you. And it is being guided by Archangel Raphael because this was probably a very, very karmic situation that you have been through. Uh, you do need to take that time to heal. And once you heal, uh, you know, it looks like you come, emerge from it very, very uh, independent and knowing what you want out of life. So this is a time to act upon your own plans. Creativity is rewarded, luxurious and abundant resources. It looks like once you heal, you'll come into your own. The Empress is the queen of the deck. Uh, so she knows, and it's a card ruled by Venus, so it is about your personal power, your personal strengths, your personal healing, your personal ability to actually manifest everything that you want. And once you heal with, uh, you know, with this Ace of Cups over here, you get a new perspective uh, with this um, hangman. Uh, you will be able to manifest anything that you want. And, you know, you will feel, you will get your independence, you will have your financial abundance, but also, also your emotional abundance. And you will be, you know, a, a rise above this particular situation. So, you know, a lot of healing is uh, needed in this particular situation. And you are being, um, you know, um, helped along the way. So you do need to ask for the divine guidance, uh, but it, it looks like, you know, with the Empress card, you will achieve everything that you want and uh, you will rise above this particular situation. There's also abundance coming in over there as well. So um, I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Try not to fall back into old habits, uh, you know, because this particular person was very, very manipulative. They took a lot from you and you need to see that uh, that you were the giver uh, and, you know, you didn't receive anything in return. You were just manipulated. So uh, having known that, this is the first step towards healing and getting back your independence. Um, so I hope that this reading has resonated with you. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.